Let's look at how we can use an EQ in a door to easily mimic the sound of a small speaker. We can do this to check our mixes on our main monitoring system as if they were being played on smaller speakers. So, you should be listening to this video on your studio monitors or headphones for the full effect. Start by opening your door and importing roughmix.wav and finalmix.wav from the tutorial files folder before soloing roughmix then looping for playback. Our rough mix works well on studio monitors, but how will it sound on small speakers? First, we use an EQ to create a curve mimicking the frequency response curve of a modern portable Bluetooth speaker. Add DDMF's LP10CM to your door's master output. and add a 6dB and octave flex HP filter at 300Hz a 1dB flex peak at 350Hz with a Q of 4 and another minus 1 dB flex peak at 700Hz with a Q of 4. You'll hear the bass response change to something closer to a small speaker. Now, let's add a 6 dB an octave flex LP filter at 10 kHz to simulate the small speaker's high frequency roll off. We'll finish our curve by adding 6 dB flex peak at 7.3 kHz with Q of 0.6. and a 0.6 flex peak at 4 kHz with a Q of 6. This will give our reference curve a hyped high mid area similar to a lot of modern small speakers. Great for checking for issues such as overly sibilant vocals or harsh drums. Note that LP10 is a linear phase EQ and so it adds latency. If this is not acceptable to you, you can create a similar curve in any standard digital EQ such as DDMF's 2EQ Pro CM. Use your door's preset saving and recall function to save the curve under the name small speaker for use later on. Consult your door's manual if you're not sure how to save and recall presets. You can of course make your own custom EQ curves using this technique by grabbing the frequency response chart for the speaker you wish to mimic and plotting away. We can now use our EQ curve to hear how our rough mix might sound on a portable speaker. Open LP10CM and toggle the bypass on and off. 
the bass mostly disappear in our rough mix, with the kick drum cutting through less when the small speaker curves switched in. Now we'll listen to the final mix, which has been processed with a wider range of sound systems in mind. Solo the final mix channel and again toggle LP10 on and off. You should hear the bass more prominently and the kick with greater low mid range definition. We'll explain the processes we use to make this mix work on the small speakers in a later tutorial. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.